Hello everyone, YouTube is Alex here, back with some more Boom Beach. Yes, this is quite quick since the last video, but, well, I'll just give you the verdict on what's going on with the whole uh, saving resources, as, as you can kind of see by my resource count, I have spent them, and also it's a little bit quicker because, uh, what I'm going to say, Gren Medic, new strategy since, uh, well, at least not particularly unconventional, I, I haven't seen Gren Medic too often, but what I'm going to say, Gren's first time me using them ever in the game since, like I said, I've never really got any further past HQ15 on my old account before I reset. Long story short, of course, but but Gren's, they're a lot of fun. They're not everyone's cup of tea, but to be honest, they've been actually winning me a resource base uh, that has basically, well, it's a lot of cannons, a lot of st stuff, uh, which I'll show you those attacks, attacks in a bit. My phone just went off, great. Um, but the glorious thing is, I did manage to get the sculpt to level five. Uh, it was a f it was only about twenty. For God's sake, game! Can you not do this? Can you, can, game? Hang on a sec. Okay, back. Sorry about that. But um, here we go. The sculpt to level five has been achieved, and all I'm going to say is, uh, along with the rest of those, uh, those things. The other things in the boat, apart from the wood, was there a bunch of uh, life shards enough so to actually make at least with my existing shards uh, two statues. So that was actually that actually could be two crystals. I don't know if I'm going to keep any of them, but we will have to wait and see. Although I'm, I, at this point, I'm probably going to look once again at the wood one. I don't know, but also here is the crystal stack at the moment. So I have one more statue spot, <clears throat> and it would be nice. Uh, to get another ice statue, if nothing else, then I might use one of these life statues. I don't know. Um, for the sake of, I don't. I want to see what this one is. There we go. Salvage that one. Uh, and we're just going to do that. So this one I'll do. That one I'll do legit. So I had a few diamonds spare. So that's good. Done that. Next, uh, I just finished up this residence up to level eight with the rest of them. So that's out of the way. But Gren Medic. That's what we want to. That's what I want to show. I mean. Plenty of people have done Grenadier gameplay before, but uh, like I said, it's the very first time me uh, me doing it. Um, so we'll sh I can show you a few. That's, that's tank medic. Hang on, where's, where's, where's I, here's some of the grids. So this is pretty much just fighting this um, resource base constantly. I even did a couple of levels of Doctor T. Um, did that one again. The couple of failed attempts of at the Grenadiers. I arguably should just switch my troop combo and uh, do this. Um, Stage three, Doctor T here, but no real rush to be honest. I'm not, I'm not too fast. But anyway, let's um, if I can find it, let's let's show you here now. It's basically cannons and machine guns, as you can see. Now, the I think the only issue with Grens, I mean, this, this is where inaccuracy is good, because because they're all trying to shoot out this um, sawmill, but it does mean pretty much everything behind them, and especially this whole corner. Does I do like this corner design, but. You know, it's just the overthrow is very good. I mean, this attack was actually the very first uh, time I used Grens, and I thought, well, we can exploit the fact that they should, and obviously they do, to some extent, outrange uh, cannons. Now you've got to be careful with cannons because um, you'll soon see um, they get, they take out this one fairly well, but it's then this one that picks off a couple because they get, they went a bit too close. Um, now the medics uh, just had to keep obviously keep them healed now. As you will see, two of them run a bit too close. As you see, they get to attack position, and uh, there we go. They're, 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 sorry, I lose two right there, but it was a case of, oh well, because the rest of them are out of range and all well and good. But now I'm going to say, with bringing medics with Grens usually works. Uh, as you can kind of see, they are taking uh, a fairly high level rocket launchers flak. Uh, this is six medics, I think, or was it five? I think six. Um, but they they do take the medic flak, not the medic, not the medic flak. They take the rocket launcher flak pretty well, um, so that's all good. And at this at this point with Grens, all I'm going to say, get them right up to the HQ, and it's it's pretty much GG at that point. So there's no point dragging that out uh, for any longer than is necessary. This was pretty much the same thing. I'll show you the most recent attack because I, I I've recently just claimed it seven minutes ago. Uh, but we'll quickly show you the couple of Doctor T um, Gren attacks, but. This one was actually quite long-winded because, as you can kind of see, there's uh, those boom cannons. You, boom cannons you do want to watch out for. Boom cannons will one-shot pretty high level your grens, even if they're high level. Uh, for the most part, this high-level boom cannon took a fair punishment. 
Um, but I do work on that slowly. But I don't know. Gren, Gren, Grens are just a, quite a fun troop. They're I know they're inaccurate, but you know enough of them. Despite their inaccuracy, you know they, they you know they just took out those two um, containers of this crystal goop stuff. They were shooting at this one, and they took out the one behind it. So we'll fast we'll fast forward to two times speed, and I was just. I'm slowly taking out the boom cannon on the on the uh, the right there, and this is a good spot, nice and clustered. That they took about nice and easy, but I don't know they they're a cool troop. Although I I still think you either want to take a couple of them as mine clearers on in your regular attack strategy, uh, or you want to do what I'm doing, I suppose, bring a couple medics, but main but just bring lots of them. I mean, I only have about eight of them right now because my my gun, uh, not my my boats aren't quite high enough level to, ca to carry three of these guys each but that's kind of what you want to get at is um, you you want to be able to uh, I think I do, did I that wrong? Yeah I do but you you want to bring enough of them because you know their, their inaccuracy will uh, you know be your downfall using all of them but enough of them then despite their inaccuracy they will generally hit their mark I do reposition a few times now be careful because often I see when I reposition them this close you might notice, um, maybe not, maybe not this attack, but they actually no. There you go. So one of the grenadiers just hit the other one in front. So that that has lost me a couple of grens in the past. Now this is also why bringing those medics is useful as well. I would definitely bring about six medics, um, which yes, du and apparently that attack doesn't show me destroying the HQ because uh, it's desync or something. But I did d defeat it. But yeah. I should have 10 grins, I stand corrected. Um, obviously I can't count. So this is this one here. Snipers you want to sort of think about, but not too much of a concern about, but... I don't know, they're, they're just a really fun troop. I've never used them before, and I'm kind of going a little bit Gren mad at the moment. <laughs> using Grens for everything I can seem fit. Although, the, I think the thing is, de using them as a primary troop in player bases is, is one of those things where it's very much base specific because you you should be good for every type of um thing here you'll see these guys take go for the cannons but you know they are out they do outrange the cannons they will outrange machine guns flamethrowers you know all those buildings right there i just help them out a little bit but it's just you've got to be careful of um snipers uh, at least medium to high level ones depending what level your grens are i guess um, so you watch out for them, watch out for boom cannons, and I said snipers, and I suppose in this case a shock launcher. They can't quite outrun it, but didn't matter, he uh, outrun it, he ran eventually. So just a couple of things just sort of to worry about, I suppose. But basically, um, also you have to think as well, what about, you know, what about like the base density? Is everything really close together? Because if so, You'll you'll do a lot more damage because of course these guys are AOE. Not to mention the overthrow is kind of ridiculous. Um, but once again, I just just reposition here, and you just slowly but surely take away. Now this this is this is what I want to see. I really want to see the uh, these Grens on my offensive account whenever I get to them. It's gonna take a while to get to them, but it's uh, yeah, it's one of those things that I kind of want to mess around with. Um, not to mention, I think if these guys had a bit more health and a lot of damage, these guys would be awesome. So uh, this is the attack I literally just did, say like ten minutes ago now. So the, the only most recent addition to this resource base was the boom cannon. In hindsight, I probably could have got away actually with just letting the Grens overthrow, do most of the damage, and then just artillery you know, pick off um, the restraggling um, troops. So mortars do hurt. I mean, I wouldn't worry about them unless it's like three or four of them hitting you because one of them takes off about a third of the health. These are level one Grens of course. But you see the overthrow there. They took out that cannon and they're not even trying to take out the cannon. Uh, at this point I'm just messing around trying to take that um, cannon out even though I probably didn't need to. So now they're targeting the machine gun and um, the overthrow here will actually kill that cannon there. But I would say more often than not the overthrow will kill the building but directly behind the building that they're targeting. Which is, um, you know, mix mixed bag really. I I did throw an artillery on the cannon just because I really wasn't sure if it, they would get in range. I've had a few times where that's happened. But all in all, Grens are one of those troops that seem a bit 
ridiculous. Um, they they seem a little bit goofy in how they function. They're very inaccurate. They just throw grenades everywhere, as you can see. They're, they're, they're glorious things to watch, to be honest. But at the same time, you know, their inaccuracy is their downfall in some respects. Um, you know, especially if you need to do things like take out an HQ, because more often than not they actually miss. Uh, taking out this machine gun takes so long. I would have flared right up to it, but there's obviously no point, because machine guns up close will probably wreck nearly every kind of troop anyway. Except Scorchers, but then they have so much health anyway, they're kind of ridiculous. But you can kind of see how this works. But, you know, they're, they're definitely not as strong as heavies. They never were meant to be, but... Um, but once again, similar configuration here. Just get them as close as I can. And even though the rocket launcher is still shooting me. That was a preemptive med kit because I was... You know, the front guys were getting hit a little bit. Um, so, I, honestly, that rocket launcher is not a worry. I just ignore it because the medics can just do the healing job here. I've had another message on my phone. I'm going to have to go look at that in a minute. <laughs> um, but the HQ falls, as you see nice and simple so grenadiers are, are a lot of fun I have to say not to mention here is the resource base now it was kinda of funny there was um I think it's off my screen now but wait is it actually hang on let's see 25 30. it wasn't um I think it was this resource base I might as well show you it but I've been fighting with this guy now this guy usually steamrolls the base pretty pretty easily um, mate, with heavy zooka, even though I would say something, something like tank medic would make more sense, because with the amount of flak damage and rather than high precision damage, uh, might have been a better idea. Also, a, ma a, a configuration like this with a lot of rocket launchers not recommended with gren, with uh, say gren medic. I would say I wouldn't use the uh, gren medic on this sort of um, yeah place right here unless I could actually take out more of the rocket launchers just because well rocket launchers can, can outrange every troop in the game so you're gonna get flacked by that by those a lot I suppose if I could take out two like he's he he did um, and keep to the left uh, it might be doable uh, but all I'm gonna say, I think uh, what happened a lot of the time with um, this strategy well he got some supers lost here but look how close his heavies are to those machine guns and how much damage they're do they're doing. He, he, oh, he doesn't quite lose a heavy there. But it's basically the machine guns that do nearly all the work. Um, the Zookas will uh, survive for a while. I, oh, I say that, he, he actually has lost nearly all of his Zookas here. <laughs> so it's 99% so it's heavies right now. And yeah, basically it was like this tiny group. Of, it's like, I think it's like four, these four Zooks over here are the ones that do survive. Um, through and through, and it's just the machine gun's constant flak damage. This is also with the boost that I had. These are the high boosted buildings that I had as well. Um, maybe maybe those Zookas do survive. Um, so yeah, these buildings, despite not being designed for you know heavy troops like heavies, uh, they killed nearly all of his troops, but he still got me in the end, although flip side of the coin, I retook it um, nice and easy like that. Now, I'm just going to just gonna double check. There was a guy on my map somewhere. That I, was it this guy? Yeah, it was this guy. I was tempted to try him on, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's not really the mines. Mines don't honestly care about. I mean, I, could pro I mean, they could probably take a couple of mines to the face anyway. But, well, it's just, it's just a few snipers. I suppose I've got to think about if the snipers aren't high of enough level and you've got enough medics you can usually heal up between shots um, whoop, oh, sorry hit the uh, mic there well we'll get just for the sake of argument we're gonna give this a try I even though my whole logic of don't pick fights you can't win and I honestly don't know about this one but we're gonna try it right let's just see how well or not things go here let's um Let's just take out those mines. This I might just run out of time here. I don't know, but we'll just. I just want to see how much the overthrow is going to really do. How much do those mines hurt? They hurt a fair bit, but this is why I have medics. Um, and something tells me I'm just going to start picking off the buildings that are getting close to range or in range. I'll help out. I'll help these guys out here. Right, something tells me I should start working on the boom cannons up there. 
See, those snipers don't do enough damage to uh, take him out. At least I don't. At least I hope not. Take that out. Rocket launcher, not too fussed about. Zoom out a little bit. The thing is, Grens have such a huge radius. I'm having to think quite wide, you know, into into what's going on. So let's um, let's just take out that uh, boom cannon over there. So that's that dealt with. So it's pretty much just a, a matter of slowly cleaning up, really. Sniper's going to get in range, but uh, I do have shocks for if they do. This is where overthrow is useful, because they are going to overthrow... Uh, don't take out my guy, for Christ's sake. Surprising, the medics are just about enough. Or oh, maybe not. Okay, I lost a the guy there. <laughs> Come on, guys, take him out. Um, let's do another barrage over there. Should think about getting that reposition for the kill uh, at some point. I'm not worried about that that detachment. It's um, it's more this sniper here I'm worried about. Hopefully the Grens can think about it there. Right. Um, let's reposition here. If the over if the overthrow can take out the cannon behind. Except they're gonna shoot. For God's sake, shoot the. Well, if they can take out the cannon behind, I'll go in a lot closer. But eventually they'll stop targeting everything else up there. Come on, guys. Time is definitely against you with this type of attack, that's for damn sure. There we go. Take that out. Let's go in nice and close. Let's do the. Let's go for the kill. Hopefully we actually have time for this. What? Sometimes I, I watch these guys do a throw and it's just like, what? <laughs> like, there was one guy who was probably here, threw like over there. It's like, okay. <laughs> uh, but this looks like a victory. Uh, hopefully if I can do this in a minute, should be able to. Got only lost one Gren. So, yeah. Um, okay. I may, Once again, maybe I should stop, uh, stop being so conservative. Because we won. It's more victory points I don't need, but once again, I'm uh, just going a little bit Gren crazy. So, only one Gren. Gren Medic. Uh, if, you, if you have access to it, I would definitely recommend trying it out. Of course, uh, your, if you have any statues, it will help obviously a lot. Uh, I don't, obviously, at the moment. These are still just level 1 Grens. Here are the stats. Although you probably th know that anyway, but... Two seconds between shot, well... If you've got enough of them, <coughs> those shots do add up. And I think I need to upgrade my landing craft to two more levels, uh, at least to level 14, I believe. And then I can get those extra Grens, because, let's see, you've got four extra slots, and they take six uh, per Gren. But looking at the landing craft, going to le level 13, the amount of loot that that's going to require is a little bit insane. I mean, it was a struggle get. I mean, okay, okay the sculptor was a lot more expensive, but that was still a struggle uh, to get to that. But... We got there in the end, um, and we'll have to see how this goes. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. Let me know what you think of Gren Medic. Do you use it? Uh, do, you, do you? Is it a stupid strategy? Is it not? For, is it just? Or is it just not for you? You know, that could be the thing. You, you might not. Uh, it might not be your type of strategy at all. You might want to go heavy Zuka, or just bring, um, or even just bring a couple Grenadiers. That's the thing. Do you even use Grenadiers? Do you just bring them along as mine clearers, like I suggested, or do you use them like I do as Gren Medic? Because it's a lot of fun and it does work bit situational of course you know too many snipers too many boom cannons it could be a problem and uh, not to mention a lot of ice if you, if there is any but usually that's not much of a problem but let me know what you think anyway thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video